This is a 1970s vintage Sony professional TV grade viewfinder and TV video camera. The model number is AVC3200 and the model number for the electronic viewfinder is AVF3200. It has a TV zoom lens that is 1.18 ratio f12.5 mm to 75 mm wide with a brown case. It looks like it's straight out of the 70s. Check out the old handle and buckles. It also comes with its own tripod that fits in the case and a strap. It actually came from a small town high school. I was there videotaping the grand opening of their new school and the teacher saw me there with a camera in the parking lot and once we got to talking I mentioned Time Vault so he ended up giving me this camera along with a VHS camcorder and a few other devices later on. He was a super nice guy and we just shared our love for old technology and I think he was happy to give it to someone rather than throwing it out or taking it to a place that recycles old electronics. The camera has a few parts that go together. First you have to put the viewfinder on top of the camera. I actually bent the pin type connector the first couple times I tried it but it's pretty easy once you find the spot. Next we have the lens which goes on the front of the camera. You unscrew the cap and screw the lens right on. It was probably a nice lens when it was new. On the back of the camera we have a video RF output. For an adapter you will need an RF coax coaxial adapter UHF male to BNC female connector. Then you have to adapt that to a composite RCA video signal using a male BNC to female composite adapter. You can set it to RF or video. Of course, I have it on video. Not really sure how to test the external sync, but I imagine it would maybe be used in a multicam studio setting where you could sync them all up. Turning it on with this big switch is pretty cool. The viewfinder does work, as you can see it slowly come up. I put it on a tripod so I could shoot my cat playing. Here is a look at the video on the viewfinder and this is the video output on a TV screen. It is a black and white signal but I noticed before I white balanced that it did start to do a weird thing with the sync where the video was cycling through the frame. Probably again a sync or v-hold issue. It eventually corrected itself. The quality of the video is pretty poor. I was just happy to see that it actually worked. Powering it off looked kind of neat too. I have no real use for it, so I did sell it to another collector to enjoy, but it was fun to set it up and do a video. The AV Club kids, they would have loved this. 